Finding the right food for your guinea pigs can be challenging, especially on a budget or when fresh produce is not always available. When I first started, I wanted to give them the best food, but I didn't know what was safe. There was so much conflicting information. After more research, I was finally able to compile a list of safe vegetables for guinea pigs and debunk some popular myths. Welcome back to the Guinea Pig Facts. My name is Daniel and I will share with you my 10 favorite veggies for guinea pigs. Let's start with 4 vegetables that originate from America just like our lovely domesticated guinea pigs. Green beans have been cultivated by the ancient populations of South America for over 7,000 years. Also known as string beans, French beans or snap beans. They were introduced to Europe by Christopher Columbus in the 15th century. Green beans provide vitamin C and K along with fibers and minerals making them a nutritious addition to your guinea pig's diet. However, they should be fed in small amounts because they can cause gas. Some guinea pigs, like pumpkins, may feel bloated the next day if they eat too much. One misconception about green beans is that they should be cooked before serving because they are too hard. In reality, they must be served raw. One or two beans per guinea pig, no more than twice a week. Did you know that tomatoes originate from America? I always thought they came from Southern Europe. Tomatoes are excellent for supplying vitamin C and A as well as antioxidants like lycopene to your guinea pigs. However, since they are classified as a fruit, they contain a high amount of sugar. One common misconception about tomatoes is that they are poisonous and should not be given to guinea pigs. This assumption is partially true because anything green, including the unripe green tomato, is toxic. Only ripe, colorful tomatoes like red or yellow ones should be given to your guinea pigs. The myth that tomatoes are dangerous likely comes from the fact that the tomatoes plant was thought to be unsafe until the 16th century. It is recommended to serve two to three mini tomatoes or a small wedge per guinea pig no more than once or twice a week. Too much tomato can upset their digestive system and harm their teeth. Before we talk about the most popular vegetables that provide almost a recommended daily amount of vitamin C, let's discuss another commonly used vegetable in Central American diets, corn. Did you know that when a guinea pig is suddenly jumping up and down in the air, it's called popcorning? This isn't because they've eaten corn, even though it's full of carbohydrates and sugar. Your guinea pig will naturally popcorn when they are happy and full of joy. Speaking of corn, a common misconception is that it can be given daily. In reality, the kernels are high in sugar and should be given in small quantities like once or twice a month. However, the husk of the corn is rich in fibers and can be given more often. Our guinea pig love to eat that husk. Corn contains vitamin B, magnesium, fiber and some vitamin C. It originates from Central America and has been cultivated for over 9,000 years. It was one of the first domesticated plants by the indigenous people of Mexico and has since become a staple in the diet of Central American population. If you like this video and want to know more facts about guinea pigs, please like this video and let me know in the comment what your guinea pig's favorite veggies are. Bell pepper. One of my favorite veggies to provide my guinea pigs with a good amount of vitamin C is the bell pepper. Bell pepper are also known as sweet pepper, capsicum, depending on where you are located. They come in a variety of colors, including green, red, yellow, and orange. Originating from Central and South America, bell peppers were brought to Europe by Christopher Columbus. Bell peppers are rich in vitamin C and also provide a good dose of vitamin A, vitamin B6, and folate. The green peppers are low in sugar, whereas the red ones have more. Yellow and orange contain sugar and should not be given every day. However, green peppers can be given almost daily in a reasonable amount. Let's talk about a popular and versatile veggie, the carrot. This colorful root vegetables come in different sizes and colors. And it's not just tasty, it's also packed with nutrients for your guinea pigs. Originally, the purple and white varieties were first cultivated in Central Asia over 5,000 years ago, mainly for their leaves. Today, carrots are a favorite treat for many pets. Guinea pigs can enjoy the whole vegetables from the root to the greens. The main part of the carrot contains vitamin C and beta carotene, which are great for their eyes. However, carrot also contain a good amount of sugar, so moderation is the key. Don't waste the carrot tops. They are rich in fiber and contain calcium as well. It is recommended to give your guinea pigs carrot no more than twice a week. When a heat wave hits, there's an excellent veggies that will keep your guinea pigs well hydrated. 
I'll tell you all about it right after sharing a bit of the story of this controversial leafy green. Spinach are those dark green leaves that can have a bitter taste for humans. It originates from Persia, where it was cultivated over 2000 years ago. Nowadays, there is many varieties of spinach available all year long. If you have a garden, it can be easily grown alongside other veggies that your guinea pigs will enjoy. Spinach have plenty of essential nutrients for guinea pigs. They are packed with vitamin A, C and K and contain a good amount of iron and calcium. Spinach also contain oxalate, which can be harmful in large quantities because it's for the elimination of calcium. When this happens, you will see some white dusty spot where your guinea pigs usually urinate. Offer small servings, occasionally like once a week, to avoid risking kidney stone. When it's really hot, there's nothing more refreshing than a veggie full of water and nutrients. Cucumber are technically classified as a fruit, but I always find them in the produce section. Regardless of how they are classified, my guinea pigs love a good slice or a wedge of cucumber on a hot day. The cucumber plant has been cultivated for over 3000 years, originating in Mesopotamia. Due to its popularity, cucumbers are now grown worldwide. Even though cucumbers are full of water, they still contain important nutrients for your guinea pigs such as vitamin C, potassium, fiber and vitamin K. Cucumbers can be served with the skin and seeds, no need to complicate things. But if you want to get creative, you can use the skin to make sushi rolls with other veggies from this list. During the summer I serve cucumber two or three times a week in small quantities as a snack or with their meals. However, like other water-rich veggies, too much cucumber can cause diarrhea or soft poos. Let's wrap up this list with some of the most controversial vegetables for your guinea pigs. Are they truly toxic? Dangerous? Or even a choking hazard for your beloved guinea pigs? Let's find it out. One veggie that packs a punch of essential nutrients but is also quite controversial is broccoli. Why is it controversial, you may ask? That's an excellent question. Many guinea pigs enjoy the texture and taste of broccoli. This veggie is rich in vitamin C and K. It also contains a good amount of calcium and oxalate. If consumed in large quantities, it can cause discomfort like excessive gas, which is hard for guinea pigs to pass. In extreme case, it can contribute to urinary problems just like spinach and green beans. It's recommended to serve broccoli no more than twice a week if your guinea pigs can digest it properly. Beside the florets, most of the plant is safe to eat, including the stalk and leaves. Celery Celery is often seen as a choking hazard in many places on the internet. Even some AI will tell you that celery should be cut into small pieces to remove the stringy parts and avoid choking. The reality is that the only choking hazard with celery is the plastic bag it comes in. Guinea pigs are rodent and with their front and scissor they can easily cut through those stringy fibers. Celery is very low in calories, high in water contents and contain a good source of vitamin K, potassium and some vitamin C, which are essential for your guinea pigs. A fun fact about celery is that it is a member of the parsley family and is related to carrots, parsnip and dill. It was cultivated over 3000 years ago by the Romans and Greeks who used it as a medicinal plant for its nutritious properties. All parts of the celery, even the leaves, can be served multiple times per week to your guinea pigs. One veggie with a rich history cultivated by both Egyptians and the Romans is lettuce. This veggie is a staple in many guinea pig diets, whether green, red or especially Roman. It contains lots of fiber, water and nutrients that are good for them. It is an affordable veggie and it's mostly available all year long. But you may ask, what is so controversial about lettuce? The real question should be more specific about iceberg lettuce. There are many misconceptions on the internet and in some old books that iceberg lettuce is toxic for guinea pig. The reality is that iceberg lettuce is part of the same family as the other lettuce. The difference is that this type of lettuce is mostly water and does not contain a significant amount of vitamin and nutrients. Therefore, if your guinea pigs eat too much iceberg lettuce, it will likely to get soft poos or even diarrhea. When it comes to Roman lettuce, I will serve them about one leaf per guinea pig almost every day. New guinea pig owners should be aware that a guinea pig may occasionally have an allergic reaction to a vegetable. Although this is not common, it's always best to introduce new veggies slowly to monitor your guinea pig's reaction. The main source of food for your guinea pigs is hay. 
Timothy A, orchard grass or meadow hay should make up 75-80% to 80 of their diet. Hay is essential for their digestion and their ever-growing teeth. An adult guinea pig will consume between 6-8 to eight pounds of hay per month. Why is it so important for guinea pigs to get an extra dose of vitamin C, you may ask? Guinea pigs share a similarity with humans. Neither of us can produce vitamin C on our own. Like humans, guinea pigs can develop scurvy if they lack this essential vitamin. This is why it's crucial to include vitamin C rich vegetables in their diet. Whether your budget is limited or fresh produce are hard to find, making the right dietary choices for your guinea pigs is essential. Even when the economic situation is tough, it is possible to find alternatives to manage your guinea pig's budget efficiently. Check out this video to learn 6 hacks that will help you save money while keeping your guinea pigs happy. Since you've made it to the end, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.